focus, you fuck. Yeah, you guys, Space Jesus here. Uh, today, going through a quick video, we're going to be talking about the three main properties of telescopes, uh, or any magnifying optic for that sense, uh, whether it be binoculars or a camera lens or anything similar. Uh, those are focal length, aperture, and the F ratio. This lighting is fucking terrible. Focal length first. Nice, straightforward, and easy one. Okay. So the focal length is the distance between the primary objective, whether it be a lens or a mirror, and the eyepiece or sensor down at the other end. Um, now, the longer the focal length of an instrument, the higher the magnification. So we've got a short, uh, short focal length, we're gonna have a very wide field of view, but with a longer focal length, we're gonna have a more zoomed in and narrow scope. Aperture is up next. So the aperture is the diameter of your primary objective. Um, it's usually measured in inches or millimeters. Um, most standardized stuff is in inches, uh, but for the equation we're going to be using later on, we're going to be using, uh, converting those to millimeters. This makes things a lot easier. Um, but your aperture, straight off the bat, is a good gauge on the light gathering capabilities of an instrument. So a larger aperture means that I can see fainter objects, right? More light gathering capability? I don't see one. Sort of. You're on the right track. This is where focal ratio comes into play. The focal ratio represents the true light gathering capabilities of your instrument. The formula for the focal ratio of your instrument is the focal length in millimeters divided by its aperture in millimeters. Now it's important that we use millimeters here for accuracy. We all know what happened to those guys using the imperial system. Trees. This refractor here, for example, has a focal length of 750 millimeters and an aperture of 150. A focal length of 750 and an aperture of 150. We divide the two and the result is 5. As a rule of thumb, anything with an F number of 5 or lower is considered a fast instrument. This simply means, for its level of magnification, it collects a decent amount of light, thus making dimmer objects appear brighter and reducing exposure times for photography. This telescope here has a focal length of 2,000 millimeters and an aperture of 203 millimeters. Objects viewed through this telescope will have a much higher level of magnification, but the sacrifice we make is dimmer visual viewing and longer exposure times. This telescope here has a focal length of 1,500 millimeters an aperture of 304. Like they made in the equation, we end up with an F ratio of 4.9. Now a telescope like this is a great example of how we can maintain a high level of magnification, but still keep fast optics, cutting down our exposure times and increasing the brightness of visual. Hopefully this is explained as simply as possible, the uh, three main properties to look at when looking at telescopes or any other magnifying object for that matter. Cheers. Please go.